Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful hot air balloon with a book. You just need to use an old book. I've done this one as a wedding theme so let's get started. Now to begin with we need a book that has 280 pages and then remove the front cover and the back and mark down 2 centimetres from the top and 2 centimetres across from the top left hand corner. Join these two dashes together like this because we need to cut this corner out. So once the balloon's made and we turn it upside down, this is the area where you're going to put your battery operated tea light. So get yourself a craft knife or I use a Stanley knife and just cut through all those 280 pages. And this is what we're left with. So now we have our 280 pages. By the time we fold this, it will bulk up quite big. So that's why we're only using 280 pages. So your first fold is keep it in line with this where you've cut so when you cut this out make sure you cut it out nice and neat then just fold this and crease it now use your little bone folder or anything that you use because you need really sharp folds so what you're going to do is, the easiest thing I found is to do this through all of your pages. Or do, do a good few to begin with. You can either do the whole book, the whole amount of pages that you need, do about 10 or 12 at a time. So once you've done this fold, you need to fold your page in to the spine and crease it. Now this is the way you do the candles as well. And then Fold it into the spine again. So this is a double spine fold, the way you make your candles. So I call this the double spine fold. Now the next fold, you fold once into the spine. Now this is your alley fold. You fold once into the spine. Just once into the spine. Turn your book. Now, can you see? This is why I've done a few pages. Can you see this part here? Now, what you're going to do is you're going to put your finger firmly where this joint here is. So, put your finger firmly there and then fold this end. Can you see this part of it? You're going to fold this up to meet that there. And then bring this to a point like this. And that's your alley fold done. Now fold that up. So then we're going to do your double spine fold again. So we do your double spine fold. Now when you put this one up, you have to fold the corner of this tall one. Fold the corner flush with your spine folded one. 
so you have this. Okay, so we're going to do that again. So this is the alley fold up to the spine. Now put your finger here where this ends, where this one is. Put your finger there and fold. Fold this up to this little part that's here. Can you see this piece here? Fold it along that line and then push it back. Then do your double spine fold again. And then fold this corner down. So what you're starting to develop is this shape. Now we'll begin again with the, the alley fold. Now fold it to this point here. Can you see this? This is a, what this is what we're using as a guide. We're using this part here. So you're going to hold it here and fold to there and then fold along like that. And then fold it up. Then do your double spine fold. And then fold this one down to meet this one. up to the spine and then put your finger where this one underneath is. This triangle goes up to here. Use that as a guide. Put your finger there and fold it to there and then pull this down and it comes to this one here. and fold it to a point. Fold it up. Then do your double spine fold.
and then fold this edge down Now once you've done that to all your pages, you can see it developing, once you've finished folding all your pages, what you have to do is you have to glue it together so that it makes a ball. So down the joint, you just just put some hot glue deep inside into the joint and then close up your book. So you need to just close up your spine. It doesn't take long for the glue to set. And there we are. That's you got your ball of your balloon. Now here's the finished balloon. For the basket I've just used a box. I've popped some ribbons around this area of the balloon. I've put some trim on just around here. The struts are dowling peg, um, dowling wood with pages from the book wrapped around it and then I've just glued it into the balloon and into the basket. Around the top of the basket I've just put some of the other trim that I had on the top of the balloon. And around the basket I've put some Diamante ribbon that I've had. I will show you the balloon from further away but I'll have to take the camera down to show it to you. So this is the balloon from a distance. It is quite large as you can see. And please excuse the mess of my basket over there. That's all the odds and ends for my crafting. Now I do hope you give this a little go. I'm going to show you some of the pictures of it in the dark with the battery operated tea light. The battery operated tea light goes up under that notch that we cut out of the paper. I just put double sided sticky tape on the underside of the tea light and I popped it up inside there. It's not too far and it holds really well. It does make quite a nice night light. You can change this for a nursery as well. Now thank you for watching. I'd like to thank all my subscribers and join me again for the next tutorial. Bye.